Good morning, Madam. So, could you please briefly introduce what are the main purposes of this uh, bike education or edu bike program? Okay, sure. So, edu bike it's a sportive challenge, a bike challenge who goes from Phnom Penh to Sisopon, Bantam in Shay. It's where we have the program of our association. So, it's 425 kilometers run by uh, some of our team, of our staff, and other person who want to join so we will be around 25 to cross whole Cambodia to go where the, uh, the NGO is and it's to do fundraising for the NGO. Uh, so by organizing this event it means that your team is willing to have a uh, racing at awareness of education for Cambodian uh, students so what are your expectations after this program? You know we work in a very remote place it's in a little village close to Sisopon there is no so much NGO there not so much tourism and everything so with this with Edubac we really want to have a focus on the work we do since 25 years Patricia she created the association 25 years ago so with the, this bicycle challenge we want everyone to see to see us, to know us, and also uh, to raise funds for our programs. How do you think this Edu Bike program will benefit the uh, education system in the, uh, Cambodia? First of all, we want to promote bicycle because we think it's very good for the health and it's very good for the for the school uh, students who need to go to school, so it's a good mean of transportation. That's why the bike is very important. Mm. And also because uh, uh, the money we raise, now we raise more than 10,000. It can be for our programs because we have childhood protection programs and education programs. So all the money will go to the children. Yes. Since you first arrived here in Cambodia until now, so what are the main activities that you have, have organized in order to have education system in Cambodia? So we, uh, we have little children from uh, 5 years to 25. Huh? And so we have uh, 600, 600 children from... Uh, uh, because we want to have a good student and after they have a job and after they can help their country and after they can help their family. And so we, we keep the children every time and after often they, they, come on, they go again, they come back, they come back because they think we are their family because many children have not family or have a family very, very poor, and so we are very uh, happy to help us, them. And also, recently, we developed also another program. So we create an eco farm, also because we live in a rural province where agriculture is very important. So uh, we start with uh, education and child protection programs. So we host the kids, as Patricia told you. But now we have also, an, we create an eco farm to be more autonomous with the food and uh, with fruits and with everything. We can sell things also to have money for the children. So it's also something important for us. Okay, uh, thank you, madame, for your time and uh, your interview.